Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for being here again. Um, this is a, a live show today. I have the lovely Trisha Griffith with me. She is, I've literally known you for probably about, what, 25 years, maybe? A, um, a long time, a right? very long time. Never met. I mean, this we're not meeting in person now, but we can see each other right. at least. But um, Trisha is the owner of Web Sleuths, and anybody here who remembers the, I mean, I have literally, I, I went on Web Sleuths the first time when John Bunny Ramsey was found, you know, murdered. Um, right. And I, I stuck with it through, I think Kaylee Anthony was the last big case that I actually commented on over there, but mm -hmm. it's, it's a huge thing though, Web Sleuths is, and um, for whatever reason, I heard, I think it was, I heard, um, Carolyn, mommy, mommy rambling. She said that she had you on one of her shows. And I thought it can't be the same Trisha from Web Sleuths. It's been <laughs> so many years. It can't be her. No. <laughs> and it was you. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. And um, well, thank you. I'm, thank you for being I'm here. I'm still, I'm still around. I'm like, I'm like a cockroach. Oh. You can't kill me. I'm just, right. I always still pop here up. With true crime and it's surprising <laughs> because people think that you know the watts case was the first case that i was actually interested in and uh -huh. um because my that was my first true crime book but right. no i i go way back with anything that you know especially like i said it affects children but um sure. So anybody who remembers the old web sleuth days, I don't know if we're we're a dying breed, Trisha, or not. But uh, oh, I hope not. I, I I'm hoping that it's more and more and more people are uh, coming to web sleuths, and it's new sure. to them. It's been around for a long time, but it, hopefully, it's new to them. Maybe we're the dying right. breed of the old timers that were there when it started. But that I think there, there's a lot right. of new people coming. Right. I'm glad. And I logged in. I think yesterday to web sleuths, and I actually remembered my password and everything. And um, oh, I had like 475 unread messages. Or something. Ah. <laughs> that's crazy that's but, um, yeah but I was Wolf Mars girl uh, funny story my husband when we were teenagers he had a bumper sticker on the back of his car and it said Wolfman but uh -huh. part of it had torn off and it looked like Wolfmar so <laughs> you know part of the end so my brother and our you know our other friends would tease mm -hmm. my husband my brother rather um, is his best friend he teased my husband about being called Wolfmar it was hilarious so um, I love it. yeah I had just gotten married too when I logged in the first time. So I thought, oh, yeah, I'm Wolf Mars girl. <laughs> Perfect. Easy yeah. one to remember. Uh, and yeah. I remember you. Absolutely. Do you? Thank you. Oh my gosh, absolutely. I remember you. I mean, Claire Isabella. And I know that you inspired me. I give away books, I give away jewelry, whatever. And you had inspired me literally by giving away, I think I got a pair of earrings from you or something amazing oh, like really? that. Yeah, oh, okay. you did. Do you remember well, that? I don't know if you remember I, when you used to do that. Oh, I, I do because I just, I, I wanted to thank everybody for coming on Web Sleuths and I didn't know what to do. So I just started oh, giving away stuff. So I do nice. remember. Oh my gosh. Oh, good. I'm and glad you liked them. I think oh, they were, yeah. I think they were um like vintage, weren't they? Or were they new? I think so. I think yeah, they I think were they vintage. Were vintage. Yeah. And right. I, I, I remember that. I gave them to my daughter when she got older and of course she's lost them, but. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course. Of course, right. Um, But I. No, uh -oh. you really, you're general. Like I said, I give away free books left and right when I, oh, you know, good. because of you, because I think that that was oh, such a cool thing you. to do. And it made us all feel at home. Like you were our, our sister, you know, so <laughs> I really love that. That's <laughs> Thank awesome. you. But yeah, back to the old, I mean, the old John Bonet days. And I think that, and I don't even, I don't remember what your position was. And, and there was such arguments back then among people who were on forums. There was Big a camp that believed the family had to do with her murder. And there was a camp. Mm -hmm. It was an intruder, which to me was ridiculous. But um, yeah, absolutely, yeah. And um, and then there was a camp who believed that the little boy Burke did it, and I I always thought Patsy did it. The whole thing has Patsy written all over it. Her mother. Um, right. That was always my assumption. Um, it just back then when I studied it very much in depth, that was the only mm -hmm. conclusion I could come to. I don't know what what did you think, Trisha, or what do you well, think? Well, yeah, and back then, I, I got to tell you, that to me, that was the only logical conclusion uh -huh. you could come to. Since then, since then, uh, we have had a great, um, uh, a, a great guy come forward. And oh, my God, I cannot believe I forgot his name. Hold on. Sure. Um, he is, uh, he was, he was the... Uh, I, I just, I can't believe I forgot his was name. Was he the gentleman you had on your show recently? 
no, no. Uh, I haven't had him on for quite a while. Okay. Uh, he wrote a book. Hold on. I'm going to just look at it. I, and I'm going to die because I, I know I've known him for years. And it would sure. be like for, forgetting my friend's name. I and, know. I, um, I, I am so uh, absent-minded. You don't even know. Yeah. My, oh, I know. People who are watching can tell you. <laughs> oh, I, I'm, I'm terrible. I, I, my brain is slowly, <laughs> um, slowly yeah. going away. But hang on one second. Sure, sure. Just and gosh, we were both young mothers at the time when we were on websites right. together. Um, and to think that here we are, you know, our kids are grown up. My daughter's 22. It? I know. Yeah. My son was four months old when uh, the oh my John Bonet case. I know. And he's, you know. I, I he's married and it's it, it's crazy. But uh, yeah. uh, anyway, it's um uh good lord, hold on. Uh it's James Kohler. God, lord, forgive me. Okay. Forgive me, uh Col uh Mr. Kohler. Uh, uh -huh. but anyway, he was the um what what has happened since it looked like Patsy was the obvious choice because here's the thing. Patsy wrote the note. Yeah, I don't think you, you can't get around no, that. You can't uh, get around that. Right. But James Kohler was the lead investigator in Mary's and Mary Lacey's office assigned to the John Bonet case in like 2006. And what happened? He was so appalled at what Mary Lacey was doing by preventing him from investigating the family. Really? She wouldn't let him. No. no. And he's like, but mm. all the evidence points to the family. And right. and anytime he would like try and, and show her some evidence, Mary Lacey would just poo-poo it. Mary Lacey either had a mental problem, uh, some sort of, of substance abuse problem, sure. one or the other, because I'm telling you, she acted crazy. And right. what happened, and that's my opinion. Uh, and she, what happened she exonerated was, the family, right? Well, yeah, and you can't do that. Yeah. That's never been done in the history of any. Of a murder um, case? Uh, no, you can't. Yeah, what? and and, right. and and the uh, DA that came on after said, no, they're not exonerated. I mean, so right. that letter was stupid. Again, mm -hmm. that's a sign of somebody with, with a mental health issue doing sure. something so bizarre and weird. But anyway, so... Um, I want to get the name of uh, the book right. So anyway, uh, Chief, I call him Chief Kohler because he was the uh, uh, chief of police of a small town in Colorado. Sure. Chief Kohler was so disgusted that he took he, he, he quit. He took his own money and he wrote a book. And that book is called Foreign Faction, Who Really Kidnapped John Bonet? And he took the evidence that we didn't know about and oh. he put it in the book. I and have not when, read that. I don't know why. You've got, oh, you've got to get it. Absolutely sure. got to get it. No Definitely. question. Uh, but anyway, uh, he what he did was, he, in this book, he does not say who did what. He doesn't do that at all. He lays out the evidence. And it is very clear with the evidence now that Burke did this by accident. Really? And, that, and that Patsy and John... Uh, created this whole big scenario. See, I don't and, see Brown as guilty. I don't know why. I can't. I, I. It looks to me so dumb. You know, the mm -hmm. ransom note. John wouldn't have. I, I think he had more sense than Patsy. I think that he would not have let that go on. You know, he would have said, "It's clearly your handwriting." You know, you fool. Let's, right. You know, let's do well, it a different way. The the only the only thing that that got me to believe that John was involved in the cover up was. Uh, Burke can be heard in an enhanced version of the 911 call that has not been released yet, oh. but uh, it has been written about. And in that version, uh, he uh, Burke says something to the effect of what's going on? What did I do? What right. happened? Right. And John said, we're not talking to you. Go to bed or go back to bed or something like just, that. Right? Yeah. And so it, he he knew what was going on. And there's you so I mean, so? I. Yeah, I, I'm telling you, and I think it wasn't, in my opinion, I believe it was an accident. I believe uh, Burke either took, I, I think he took a mag flashlight and hit her really hard, okay. and, um, and and that's what happened. You know, and there I could go on and on with just little things. In John Ramsey's own book, he mm -hmm. talks about, in the first book that the Patsy, that the uh, Ramseys wrote about this case, he talks about seeing a van in the uh, alleyway that day. He never reported that never. to the police. No. You know, I mean, we could go on and on and on. I, I, I mean, I could, I have a list and list just a mile long, you right. know, 
And uh, but anyway, in James Kohler's book, he does not come out and say Burke did it, doesn't say Patsy did it. He just shows the evidence. And I would challenge anyone to read that book and come away and think and think, oh, wow. And here's the thing. James Kohler has not made a penny on this book. He used his own money, his own money to uh, to print it. He uses his own money to send it out. I mean, he doesn't make any money on this book. I know what that's like. Yeah, right. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. But he he said if he ever did make a profit, he wouldn't keep it. And that's the type of man he is. He's that honorable. Uh, He quit his job to to do the right thing and let the public know this is this is horrible. This is what's going on in the DA's office. Right. You know, and um Again, Mary Lacey was was a joke. It was ridiculous. The whole joke. thing was a joke. Uh-huh. The whole thing was a joke. But you know, if you go back to Steve Thomas's book, which I love, and and I I, I think too. the world, of, I think the world what of Steve guy. Thomas, right? Great guy. But uh-huh. he didn't have all the information then either. But in his mm-hmm. book, I, it's just obvious. Patsy wrote the note, and when you yeah. start from no that, uh-huh. you start from that, and you think, okay, why? Why would John? help her cover up. Why would Patsy do this? Well, they'd lost one child. They didn't want to right. lose another, in my opinion. And she was like a tiny little kid. I don't you know, barely was. bigger than John Bonet. And I, I don't could he have hit her that I mean my brother and I used to we, we didn't actually hit each other, but I knocked my brother out by accident a few times. Sure. Well um, and and if he used uh, especially if he used a, a, a golf club, you know, because oh. it doesn't take a whole lot of, of power because you've got that long club and you just swing it and you hit them in the right, right in the right place. Boom. Sure. You know, and and there were some real um, issues with uh, between Burke and John Bonet. Uh, somebody defecated on John Bonet's candy in her bedroom on a box oh, of candy. I, and I didn't know that. I, yeah, I, that, this is one of the things in the book. And uh, I don't think it was John or Patsy. And let's face it, all you need to do is read Patsy, uh, uh, what she was saying about John Bonet. And Burke was always just kind of there. You right. know, John Bonet was her princess. That She was the star of the family. Right, right. And, uh, you know, again, read some of the transcripts of when the uh, police interviewed Burke. Your sister has just been found dead in the basement and you're not even upset. You want to see the Rolex or you want to see the watch that the detective's wearing? You don't even act like there's a problem. And a crazy man supposedly came in and killed her. And yet they send Burke back to school a couple of weeks later with no worry. No worry that this guy's going to come back. And whenever you hear John Ramsey talk, and they were on Dr. Phil a couple of years ago, Uh all John Ramsey did was complain about the media. I never once heard him say, I am so angry at this killer. Where is the killer? Never. It's always about how he's been uh-huh. mistreated and, you know, all the things done wrong to him. Well, if they'd have been, you know, they've, they've convinced themselves that this is the way to go. Their own, their best friend, Fleet White, you know, they threw him under the bus. The next oh, door neighbor, he he was with the Ramses or he was with John when John when discovered John. Right. John. Yeah. You know, anyway, so it is to me, it is such a. A. <sighs> Uh, just a ridiculous uh, lack of of justice that John Bonet's killer has not been just found out. Forget about charges. Let's just find out what happened. Right. You know. But uh, again, the Ramseys just went so overboard, they and, did. <laughs> and and they started accusing innocent people, and they ruined people's lives. Because I know. Of it. Uh-huh. Horrible. They did horrible things. But I again, agree. it's their arrogance. You know, they have that that air of I'm rich. I can do what I want. These are peasants. That's how they look to me. So wow. read this book by James Kohler. And Definitely. anybody read it. And if you can argue that, oh, no, there was an intruder, then I- I'm sorry. There's something wrong with your brain. No, there's no intruder. No, it's just no, no, not no. there. So I'm sorry. No. I know I get I get really passionate about this, and I don't mean I to do interrupt. Too. I'm sorry. No, no, no. So. I'm interrupting you. I do that. So go ahead. Go on. No, I'm. That's it. That uh, that's it. That's that's it. Just get the book. You will be convinced. There is I no will. question. Yeah, definitely. But I and you know I don't again because of his size. I 
didn't see it being Burke. I don't know why. Um, and asking the question, what what did I do wrong? He sees his parents distressed and upset. He's going to say, oh, what did I do wrong? I, that's what right. I mean, a nine year old baby. You know what I mean? I don't right. I don't see. I mean, what I think, though, I didn't, don't think John was involved in the cover up at all. I mm-hmm. think when he saw the ransom note and saw that it was Patsy's handwriting, he thought, oh, crap, what is going on? But I don't think he voiced that to her. Mm-hmm. And at Maybe least not. I don't think so. I don't think he yeah. told her, I know it was you who wrote the note. Maybe not even, not not the next, I don't, I don't know when he would have told her that or would she have come back at him with, I did not write the note. It wasn't me. I, you know, I right. love that child or whatever it is that she said. Um Sure. But well, and also, um, uh, John, remember, they they lied and said Burke was asleep. And that's a lie. You know, Uh, so they're lying about where Burke was. Why is that? You know, and they send Burke away when there's a killer out on the street that just killed his sister. You know, as a parent, you would physically hold your child and wouldn't let him out of your sight. Not them. Hey, see ya. Go run. Bye bye. Unless luck. they were so concerned that they didn't want him to be part of the circus and they didn't want anyone to have to interview their little boy, but which they did eventually. But um, right. I, I don't know if it would be more likely that, you know, he's only going to be trouble. He's going to be underfoot. He's not going to. And I believe he was on the autism spectrum, correct? Someone said that well, the other day. That has been said. I don't know if it, that has never been proven. Okay. But when you watch Dr. Phil, you know, anybody, uh, I always say, you know, I, I do have a uh, degree in psychology in my own mind. You know, right. anybody that's an arm, armchair psychologist mm-hmm. could watch that interview and go, he's got to be on the spectrum because his his uh, reactions were so not the norm. Right. He was laughing. He was smiling, mm-hmm. talking about his sister being murdered. And it was bizarre. It was so bad that Dr. Phil, it was a two part series that Dr. Phil had to film a, an extra part of it to explain to the audience why Burke was doing what he was doing. Because everybody was like, oh, my God, this guy, this kid is so damn guilty. You right. know, look at what he's doing. And so Dr. Phil even had to add something to his show to Disclaimer, try and explain right. Right. And and one thing, and they didn't reveal this. Um, Lynn Wood is the lawyer for the Ramseys. He's the lawyer for Dr. Phil in Dr. Phil's lawsuit against one of the tabloids. And they didn't reveal that. So Dr. Phil had a, uh, you know, a, a, there, there was a bit of a conflict of interest there in being objective. And, uh, you know, he was helping, uh, helping his lawyer buddy, you know. So, yeah, pretty crazy. I can't see how my hair is. Does it look ridiculous? Yeah, it's all. Oh, I'm you sorry. look gorgeous. No, okay. it's a beautiful hair. My hair is cotton candy today. So you look beautiful. <laughs> Tommy Hagen's books. Oh, thank you, Megan, for sharing my books. Um, I appreciate that. That is so sweet. Um, let me, Trisha, and- do you think Burke remembers or do you think John and Patsy told him enough times that he had maybe? Gosh, what do you think, Trisha? Well, I think I think he does remember, although I bet he has convinced himself. That he didn't do it. And you're right. I'm sure John and Patsy, uh, in my opinion, would drill into him like a drill sergeant every day. You did not do this. You did not. You know, right. you did. Don't and don't That's ever talk about it. Boy. Don't yeah. ever talk about it. Don't you know. But yeah, let's just let's just keep that bottled up. You know, mm-hmm. the poor kid already had some issues with his sister. Let's bottle this up and not let him talk to anybody about it. I know. Uh, even John said, you know, well, I think he'll be OK. Maybe when he gets 40, he'll have a problem. Good. Good thinking, John, because that's probably exactly what's going to happen. Yeah. And he's getting close to 40 now. I think he'd be like, right. John Bonet would be 30. Oh, my goodness. Oh, would, she, would she really be 30? Yeah, she'd be she 30. She was born in 1990, yeah. Oh, that's right. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, he would be, uh, he was what? Six, like 33? Four, yeah. Yeah. Uh, he, yeah. He'd be like 30. Yeah. So, you know, if he, and, and again, I have no idea. I hope he's getting help. I hope he got help. I hope he saw a good professional and is still seeing one because that's what you truly need. And again, I really believe none of this is Burke's fault. Absolutely. It's yeah. all on his parents, right. not on him at all. 
So I, I hope he's going to be okay. I hope he is okay. I do, too. I do. I do think he does remember the truth. And maybe one day, maybe after his dad dies, he'll, he'll tell the truth. Right. Right. And that's Trisha's, um, that's websleuths.com. Um, thank you, Megan. Thank you, Megan. Uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, you guys, if you want to go over there and, you know, there, and there actually are still discussions going on about John Bonet over there. I was pretty oh. impressed with that yesterday when I saw that. Um, absolutely. There's, there's and there's still, still crazy people coming on and, you know, uh, I'm telling sure. me I'm going to, I'm going to go to hell and, you, of know, course. you know, it's all my, now it's all my fault, which is fine. Whatever. Well, that's fine. Yeah. You, you killed John Bonet. I, knew I did. I did. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it's all my fault. My fault. <laughs> totally my fault. Oh my goodness. Hey, I just want to thank you really for having me on. I am so thrilled when you reached out to me, my dear. I, I'm delighted. So thank you. Oh my gosh. I am so thrilled that you actually agreed to do it. You're, you're like a celebrity or something to me because I, you know, you ran that forum so beautifully no matter how many trolls popped in and now and again you did a great job and thank you and again that i've known you for so long i was just so incredibly happy that um carolyn had you on and, and then i figured you were the same person oh my gosh that was, a, that was great. thank you for being here. i really appreciate it this, this is a blast and i could go on all day really we could I just could sit too. back here i do the same thing i know yeah. isn't that terrible and and people who are talking about the watts case and we shouldn't talk about it anymore i People are going to talk about cases like that in John well, forever and ever, unfortunately. And, you know? and especially the Watts case. And, the, and let me tell you why. And I apologize, everybody. On my YouTube channel, I sit here and do my hair and put on my makeup. And so oh, I'm, no, I'm you're fine. Okay. Totally fine. Uh, the, with the Watts case, because it was so horrific and, mm -hmm. and what he did to those two little girls okay. was so unbelievably cruel and, and, and shocking that it affected people. I mean, it right. really affected people. And they're going to talk about it just like John Bonet forever. This, it will die down. But I'm telling you, if I had a guest on, and, and you, if you had a guest on that had, uh, you know, so a little bit of inside information on the Watts case, the audience would be huge. Of you course. Know, people are, are still wanting information. But what kills me are the people that are mean to Shanann's family mm. and mean about Shanann. How dare they? How That's, dare you? Oh, oh, my goodness. It makes me crazy. It makes it me really mad, does. too. Um, yeah. But then again, that the, I would never mention a channel name um, and say that they're doing wrong because I right. they're all people. And if we all met for lunch, we'd, we'd all get along. And I don't appreciate the bullying that goes on out there oh. where people are – being hateful and they're hateful to me too. And, um, Oh, I know it's terrible. I, I don't get and, it. Yeah. And we, and, and we have, well, you know, we have a, a rule on web sleuths that, you know, we can't, we don't trash uh, random people. And on my YouTube right. channel, we never trash other YouTube channels. We do the never. opposite. No. We invite them on and we all want to be friends, but sure. I do have a big problem with oh. anybody who thinks it's okay to go after Shanann's family oh. publicly. And oh to get my. people stirred up. I mean, people are contacting them and attacking them. Oh, can you imagine? It's I, I can't. Today, right. And, no. Yeah. And it's so bad. It's so wrong and so awful. I, I Again, I don't understand that type of hatred. And that is hatred. Right. When you want to, when this, this man took his own daughters and put them in those, those oh oil God. tanks and you want to attack the, the murder victims family, family. Really? or even the watts family i don't they're, they're victims too and i don't exactly know right why they would attack either family um i i think the problem is with that is chris's mom has gone on shows and has attacked shanann and i think that's what gets that going so it's kind of a it's it she can create a um kind of like this this buildup of anger that people have. I'm not saying it's right. It's not right no, at all. No. You shouldn't do it. Just, just let her say her piece and move on. Don't attack her. Just, you know, she's lost a lot too. Yeah, so. she has. And I think that everything, everything I've heard her say has to do with just the way her, she and Shanann got along during, you know, when Shanann was here. Mm -hmm. And I don't, I, I, I don't, I think it's reminiscing more than anything. I don't think that Cindy has done anything negative but no matter what she says or does um she's jumped on mm -hmm. 
Uh, so you said you came from AD. I came from dozing off on the so. Oh, <laughs> um, I'm just reading some of the comments here. And, um, but yeah, now see, I always thought that um, Patsy did it because mm -hmm. she was on diet pills. And do you remember remember that? She was oh, a, probably Fen Fen. That was a big, <laughs> yeah. That was yeah. the big oh, thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And the, amount that that would mess with her mind and mm -hmm. um she had to get up the next morning she was frustrated already and i think that john benet wanted to wear some or wouldn't take take off something that she had put on or she was i think they wanted to wear mat matching outfits or something like something that like yeah. that, right mm -hmm. and i think that yeah patsy did but i'm talking about later when they all got home what was the thing right. that I, i'm so absent-minded in the last 20 years but um what um what do I remember about a turtleneck? Because I always thought that she and Patsy struggled over a turtleneck. Um, yeah, there was a turtleneck. Um, uh, John Bonet. In, in, in the first theory was that John Bonet wet her bed, right. and that oh. um, and that that somehow she was wearing a turtleneck, and Patsy grabbed the turtleneck and mm -hmm. twisted it. That's like what I that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, that that was one theory. And that could be. And again, I was with you all along until I read this book. Sure. And then, Thank you. And then I thought, boy, and, you know, a James Kohler's book. I thought that makes sense. Again, he does not say who who did what. He just right. lays out the evidence. And you're like, wow. But, uh, you know, let's put it this way. Either of those could be correct. Um, right. And for the many, many years, I thought for sure it was Patsy. Mm -hmm. But uh, again, I've just I've I've totally changed my my thinking on that based on on uh, this new evidence. But again, I don't think the, the sad thing is it wouldn't be hard to to see Patsy doing that, to see her explode mm -hmm. in a rage like that. And, and remember, shortly before this, John Bonet had started defecating in her bed again. I know. And Linda Hoffman Pugh, the, um, the the housekeeper, said that there was uh, a defecation the size of a grapefruit. And when you talk to experts, that's what children do. They they regress in their potty training if they're being abused. Um, right. And it's to make themselves undesirable. It's like an unconscious thing. Oh, my. Or, yeah. So, um it uh you know so there was there are there were just weird things going on in that family before all of this happened and and i don't know what they are i it's probably way too late to find out right but uh, it's it's interesting to consider all of the pieces of the puzzle in the ramsey case there are so many puzzle pieces there too mm -hmm. oh my gosh you know things that don't make sense and um but no i always assumed that patsy did she was trying to get her shirt. And have you ever tried to get a, a turtleneck off or onto a toddler who doesn't want you to do it? Oh yeah. my. Oh, a six year old that is fighting you. Mm -hmm. I mean, and it's late at night mm -hmm. and, or middle of the probably middle of the night and you're right. frustrated and you're on diet pills mm -hmm. that are wearing off and Oh, it's a, yeah. it's a disaster. Sure. It's a disaster. I could, and I always, I always assumed she did that. She Patsy twisted and yanked on it and John Bonet fell you know, mm -hmm. pulled away from her grip, bashed her head on the bathroom counter. Um, right. And so then Patsy noticed, oh, well, you know, oh, my, with her ring, her rings. Oh, my. Do you remember that yeah. whole theory that I came up with? Um, was it, it the ring, made, the marking on the neck? Is well, that what you mean? Well, she's got, had a marking on her, I want to say her right cheek that mm -hmm. looked exactly oh, right. like an imprint of a cluster ring, you know, one of those big right. round cluster rings. Mm -hmm. And then on her back, she had the two stun gun marks, which were not stun gun marks, right. um, that looked exactly like it had the two diamond or two solitaires uh, rings pressed into her skin. Mm -hmm. um, but and, and even the position of where the marks were and the angle, I, my daughter was four at the time when I figured this out. And she mm -hmm. was exactly John Bonet's height and weight at that very moment. So I picked up my daughter, put her in my lap, and I held her like, you know, like you would hold a guitar or something with mm -hmm. your hand on her back and then your other hand on her cheek. Um, and the marks were, where my hands landed on Allie were exactly the same way that John Bonet's marks show up on her body, mm -hmm. where my fingers landed. Um, not quite naturally, if you're holding your, your kid's face close to you and you're going to kiss them on the face or whatever. Sure. Um, 
you, that's it matched up so perfectly. I was going to try another experiment where I used like little stamper rings and did it on my daughter's face and on her back, but I thought that would be no. I'm not that. That's abuse, right? <laughs> Can't, can't do that. Well, no. in uh, in James Kohler's book, he addresses that. Okay. And that and by the way, that is a brilliant theory that I, I I never would have thought of, and that just shows how how incredible your mind is. Oh, thank so, you. And, and and I I actually I believed that to be true all of these years until I read the book, and what they wow. found in the basement were these um, uh, plastic train track pieces that you would put together and the little the little round snap-on thingies were the exact size of the dots on John Bonet's back and they were the exact spacing between each uh you know mark Mark. and those were down in the basement where she was found in that room so uh, again I'm I could be explaining this incorrectly and, and no, I, no. Uh, but the the theory could be she was laying on one of those when she died okay. and that's what made the mark uh, you know or laying on a couple of those pieces but right. again it, that's what made me think okay that makes sense too sure. you know so and that was in the book but yeah that's a that is a brilliant th- theory about the rings you did you did oh, great thank you yeah and then um Thank you. And I don't know. I I think I actually had a dream the night before that I was carrying John Bonet, like, you know, how, how I would carry my own daughter. Mm-hmm. And it kind of, I thought, oh my, let me try this on my kid. And my fingers on her back ended up exactly the same space apart as, um, right. as the markings on John Bonet too. Mm-hmm. So it was also, I mean, it was also it too close, right? Too close. And then mm-hmm. I made the markings on my hand with my rings and I put that up, but I, I it's gone now. Those photos are long gone. Again, it was 20 mm-hmm. years ago. Um, right. They're long gone. But um, And I don't have solitaire rings anymore, and I don't know what happened to those. <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, you're like me. I lose everything, too. Everything. I hear you. Yeah. I hear you. I ya. definitely do. Yeah. Um, let me see if we have any more questions. But, yeah, I'm going to read that book for sure. Definitely. Um, I might even go grab it today. Hello, voices. Um, oh, you're saying hello to hello. Try Six. I've got some new viewers in here. Oh, good. Um, and I apologize. Yeah. I can't, because I'm an old bat, I can't, where my <laughs> phone is, I can't read what your uh, what your nice uh, viewers are saying. So I can see there's something up, but I don't know what sure. they're saying. So you'll have to read it to me like you read to your grandma. So <laughs> Right, right. I'm going to read. Okay, let's see. Real, real killer, John Bonet. Um Colonel Russell, Colonel, maybe Russell Williams, his wife wrote the ransom note. That was Patsy's okay, no, handwriting. No, no. no, you know what? No, no, I know. Click off. Nope. Yeah, no. Okay, mm-hmm. we're gone. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I, it was nobody. And you know that creep who came forward? Oh my gosh. John Mark I, Carr. I forgot to tell you. But he was on Web Sleuths, all over Web Sleuths. He had a different name, and then he had a different mm-hmm. name. And I actually talked to him in, in you know private messaging, and it was definitely him. And it was uh, yeah. all made up in his head. What a creep. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was, well, uh, real quickly, and I'll try not to take up too much time, but this is one thing I'm very proud of the members of another very small forum that I own called forumsforjustice.org. Do you remember Michael Tracy? the professor in Colorado, he started making these pro Ramsey, ridiculous Mm, quote unquote documentaries. Okay. Right. And they were awful. Mm -hmm. Well, he is the one um, in 2004. um, There was a documentary that aired in great Britain and it was a Michael Tracy documentary and they were trying to sell it to uh, the U S just to, you know, a and E or some, some cable channel, but it aired first in Great Britain. And one of our members saw it. And this whole show was about somebody called Mr. X and how the, uh, the investigators have been trying to find Mr. X because Mr. X uh, was there and Mr. X had this tantrum or had this temper and Mr. X was this and Mr. And it made it look like this mysterious Mr. X uh, was, was the killer. And, and, they said, but he's deep underground. We cannot find Mr. X. One of our brilliant members at forumsforjustice.org 
yeah. took a screenshot of the documentary when they showed his arrest record. They blacked out his name, but they didn't black out his arrest record number. Oh, my gosh. They sent it to me. I found out the guy's name. I did a three-second second Google search, right. and I found him in Indiana making jewelry. And I called him and I said, you may not know this, but you are the center of a documentary being showed in Great Britain now uh, saying that you killed John Bonet. He was able to prove he was in Indiana that night. Good. I called the DA's office and I, I told them what was going on. I said, has this Mr. X ever been a suspect? And they said, no, he has no. never been a suspect. Michael Tracy literally made the whole thing up. Oh, I'm so sure. what we were able to do is prove this. We sent out a press release. This was in 2004. We were so excited. We prevented that documentary from being shown in the U.S. That's but so what cool. happened was nothing. Nobody picked it up. Nobody cared. John okay. Mark Carr comes along two years mm. later. Michael Tracy was the one communicating with him. To, he was, and I believe, passing along information to him. And then he connected Mary Lacey with John Mark Carr, the DA. Right. He can, and so he was the, the, the connection there. He was the one that brought this suspect to Mary Lacey. Well, here we are saying, yeah, he did this two years ago. Right. Finally, somebody called me. Uh, it was from a, a Florida newspaper and said, what's this about Michael Tracy? Because Michael Tracy was all over the news then. He had discovered John Mark Carr. You know, Mary Lacey held that press conference. You know, we're going to, you know, yes, we've arrested him for the murder of John Bonet. And, and you know, and I was saying, guys, the, the DNA is not going to match. He didn't do yeah. it. Oh, didn't God, it. you should have heard the names and the things people said. Well, this guy finally wrote about what Forms for Justice did in 2004 and exposed Michael Tracy. And that's when the wow. John Mark Carr crap blew up because then everybody picked it up and said, who is this Michael Tracy? In fact, Fox news uh, wanted the two of us to go on and discuss this. And I'm like, yeah, let's do it. Sure. And uh, he wouldn't, of course, because of course. he, he made up, this Mr. X. And then Inside Edition got a hold of Mr. X and they did a, a really great, actually a big long segment featuring Mr. X and me um, uh, showing how Michael Tracy makes up these suspects and how now he's made up John Mark Carr. Well, I know he got, I know Michael Tracy got into a lot of trouble. Get this. He was a professor of journalism ethics uh, at the, uh, at uh, Colorado, I think it was Colorado State, I think, or University of Colorado. Anyway, Sure. He either he either was fired or quit. And I hope he was fired because, mm -hmm. uh, you know, he made it all up. Mary Lacey bought it because, again, yeah. something wrong with her mind. Mm -hmm. And and they did that embarrassing press conference. And then, you know, it all it all went away. So I was right. again, that was the sleuths on on forums for dot org that did that. They put it together. And that's what and a, the big, long point of this story is that's what people can do when they put their minds to it, when they don't sit there and attack each other and call each other names oh, and yeah. discuss rumors. Mm -hmm. When they go on and they just talk about the case and look at the information, you can make the world of difference. Yeah. And um, I, I bought Web Sleuths in 2004 and it was really small when I bought it. And yeah. it was and, and I, I it was a snake pit. It was people mm -hmm. threatening each other. It I was, know. you couldn't go on there. And so I banned a bunch of people, got a lot of threats and, oh uh, and tried to make it all friendly and happy. And Hey, and if you was. have a link that it will, but you know, I was like, Hey, if you have a link you want to put in your signature, go ahead. Well, people were putting links to all their fundraisers and oh you know, bogus things. And then, so what happened was in 2008, we decided to tighten the rules really tight. And, and then I banned a whole bunch of people again that were troublemakers <laughs> And when we did that, I got so much blowback from people saying, all the good posters are leaving. You've destroyed web sleuths. And I started oh, to brother. think I made a mistake. But what happened was um, the, the people started to come out of the woodwork and say, thank you. I was, I was bullied. I couldn't talk. Every time I tried to say something, somebody would call me a name or somebody would do this. Wow. And web sleuths exploded. And, and right about the same time, the Casey Anthony case came along. Mm -hmm. So here we were, the place to come about and talk about Casey and Kaylee Anthony 
And you didn't have to worry about being bullied or being called a name. And it was just all the facts. So it is so it's hard to do. It's really hard because Web is is moderated 24 seven. Oh, sure. Tightly tightly moderated, but it works. And and I I just wish people could understand that. You know, there's no need to come in and say, well, that was a stupid thing to say. But there are people that think their opinion is so important that they need to put that out there. I know they do. And I don't understand. I, I know that I. Didn't I called somebody a bozo? But I think I was talking about John Mark Carr. But they deleted my okay. they deleted my post or whatever, saying I oh. used the, that word, and I you know that's fine, whatever. I rewrote yeah. it more kindly. But um, so yeah, they're, they're really watching, or at least since I had been there, really you know heavily in two thousand eight, two thousand nine, right. whatever. Um, they're de- I think it was two thousand eleven. The last time I really was looking at your at mm-hmm. web sleuths, like every single day, I was. Again, a young mother, and when my kid would take a nap or should be at school, I'd pop on web sleuth. Oh, good! I love hearing yeah. that. That's great. Yeah. That's wonderful. Definitely, and I loved it. You know, back again in the early two thousands when you took over. Um, yeah, that was kind of my my place to hang out. You know, and mm-hmm. all the yeah, exactly. And they were all young housewives like me, and I thought this right. was so cool. Um, but yeah, and then I I don't know. I think Patsy did it, and I, again, I think she was in a crazed rage and I don't mm-hmm. think um and because you've got to think that something happened around the child's neck so that Patsy had to cover up something around her neck had to make right. an excuse why there would be a marking there and sure. that's why the garage or whatever came mm-hmm. out or was invented or whatever um yeah. so maybe maybe Burke did choke her or something I I don't know um but again be, I'm yeah, it's it's so it's so hard to say. The the one thing that again, if we can all agree that Patsy wrote the note, let's mm-hmm. start there. And um uh it uh there's no intruder, there's no captain whatever this other no. uh person was trying to say. No, 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 absolutely not. And and in the John Bonet Ramsey case on Web Sleuths, because we have this rule that we only talk about Suspects that have been named in in mainstream media or by law enforcement. Right. So until the Ramseys are cleared, those are the suspects we talk about in that case. There are no other suspects to bring there forward. No. So, you know, and people are all mad. They want to talk about, you know, Santa. And it's like, no, he was never no. a suspect. Poor and he was, he was no. cleared. Yeah, he was. Mm-hmm. It, he, You know, it, until the Ramseys are cleared. That's who we're talking about, people, just like every other case on Web Sleuths. It's not sure. different. It's the same rules. Uh-huh. So, And they can't, you know, Patsy has long since passed away, unfortunately. Right. But, you know, I, I don't even know what they do at this point. But isn't Colorado weird? All these horrible cases coming out of Colorado, right? What's in that drinking water, man? I don't know. I'm telling you. You know, Suzanne Morphew, Chris mm-hmm. Watts, uh, mm-hmm. Letitia Stouk. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Everybody. It is just crazy. And, yeah. it, it, and like I said, I know Stephen King writes a lot about Boulder, Colorado. He puts a lot of things in Boulder. So right. maybe he's aware of something crazy going on out there. I don't know, unless you know, he puts <laughs> stuff in Maine as well. But um, right. I don't know. I, I really don't know. And I know people who've said they've actually been by the John Bonet house. And, um, oh, we, we drove by there and took. Yeah, yeah, we drove by there once. Uh, we actually presented a petition to the governor of Colorado uh, to appoint a special prosecutor. Mm-hmm. And um, a, a bunch of us took it out there. And I didn't think anybody cared. I sent out a press release the day we were doing it, thinking mm-hmm. that nobody would give a crap. Oh, God, everybody showed up. I was terrified. You know, I had, a you know, crappy clothes on, no makeup. Oh, no. And I'm like, I'm oh, sure crap. <laughs> yeah, it was, you know, it was all over the media, which was great, but nothing was done. So nothing was done. No, nothing. Why? Was done. No. What? Are, I, you what? know why? Because I there's uh, the only thing I can think of is there's got to be pictures in a vault of, volat- of, of politicians with donkeys in Tijuana or something. I mean, right, or, right. you know, or swimming in cocaine or something Yeah. Be- because it is so bizarre how how several high-powered people stepped up and stopped justice in this case. Why? Right. I, it doesn't make any sense now, unless they was, have something to hide. The first DA, what was his name? Uh, Alex Hunter. He there was the go. one. He is the one that um, the grand, we found out that the grand jury did vote to indict the Ramses, and he chose 
not to go forward oh with that indictment, God. which is illegal. And um, yeah, so wow. I think, yeah, I, I'm hoping that we'll find out. A whole, there's a whole bunch of stuff that went on. No question. And I hope. And I know finding yeah, out. Alex Hunter wasn't a corrupt, but he was kind of, you know, airheaded, I think, or something well, like that. He had he had a, a clear conflict of interest. Yeah. And uh, I believe in Colorado, the, the law states that if there is an appearance, not if you have, but if there is an appearance of a conflict of interest, the D.A. needs to appoint the case to somebody else. Uh, Alex Hunter had internet had uh, real estate dealings with the Ramsey's defense lawyer. Of course, I mean, like they right. were partners mm -hmm. in, in in owning <clears throat> owning buildings like years before. I mean, I don't think it was right current, but still, that is an appearance of of you, you know that of of some sort of undue influence. He should have recused himself and appointed somebody else to do it, but he didn't. Correct. And no. again, I think that's a story in itself right there. So it all is all the corruption, all the ties that the Ramsey's had to the community. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and exactly. there was no way they were going to be indicted. I mean, there's no, there, oh, yeah. there's no, no. way. Mm -mm. That but, wasn't going to happen. Nope. Yeah. And, and it's just, it's crazy. So it really it's is just and nuts. I, I don't know if they said, if, I don't know. Again, I think it was Patsy. If, if your nine year old child hits his little sister, you know he's not going to go to jail. You, you know, first of all, ca call nine one one and try to get your child revived. If she, you know, I, and I, I would, know. I, I would agree. If we were talking about anybody else, right? We're talking about the Ramses and what was the biggest thing in the Ramses' life? The appearance. appearance. You know, she had what four Christmas trees in her house during the uh, when they had tours of houses during Christmas time. Uh, you know, she had all of her. Uh, gowns and and uh, trophies displayed out mm -hmm. when this tour came through, and she displayed uh, everything that John Bonet won, and everything was about looks. How would it look if Burke mm -hmm. Ramsey killed his sister? And you know, and then uh, you know, I, I, who who knows what they they thought? They were obviously panicked. That's my opinion. But again, right. I changed it after reading James Kohler's book. I I was with you all all the way sure. until I read this book. So I'll definitely, definitely. read it because I, you know, yeah. if that would change my mind, um, I'm totally open to any alternate theory on any of these cases, really. Yeah. Um, oh, me too. Absolutely. Sure. Mm -hmm. Because but it's no... got to be, it's, well, it's just got to be logical. You know, <laughs> people, yeah. if you have to, if you have to jump through magical hoops to get to your theory, no, no. just look at the logic. The simplest explanation is what it is. And Thank you. you know, so. <laughs> I've been saying that forever with the yeah. Watts case that Absolutely. I don't, I, I tried to see the mistress as an accomplice and I could, I can't, I really can't. It doesn't yeah, there's make a sense. lot of people that, that think that. Yeah. And um, is there, is there any, I, I haven't looked into it that much. I never thought of her as an accomplice either yeah. because I thought if she was, she would have been arrested. Mm -hmm. uh, now, you know, you may not like her or whatever, but is there any, physical evidence is there an electronic trail is there anything to suggest that she was a part of this well that there, you're aware there, of? she pinged in um her phone pinged in frederick colorado that the morning of the murders mm -hmm. um but that was at about 6 30 we know that chris was already out you know out in the oil field around that time a little a few about 20 minutes later but he was in route you know either way mm -hmm. um so we don't um Oh, sorry. I don't know. Oh, that's my mother. Does, I mean, do, does anybody know why she was in Frederick, Colorado at that time? Has that ever been found out? Well, there were two routes for her to take from her home to work, to the office. Mm -hmm. And going through Frederick, it was like three additional miles to compared to her other route. Mm -hmm. And I think she took that route. And I happen to think that she may have very well driven by their house, you know, frequently. Sure. Oh, sure, and yeah. spied on them. And he, she mm -hmm. knew that Shanann got home late the night before. And she was skeptical about where he was even because she, around 720 or something, she said, prove to me that you're out at the oil site. I think she thought that Shanann came home that night and they didn't argue. He, Chris didn't tell her that he wanted a separation mm -hmm. and they were out somewhere as a family together. I, I think Nicole, that can make that. Yeah. Uh -huh. She was nosy. Yeah. You know, very nosy and probably kind of, you know, stalkerish with, with Chris and his wife. Um, right. So I think she might have taken that route that morning. 
it adds that three miles, be, no big difference, you know, no, right. no big deal. I mean, um, if it was 50 miles out of her way, you yeah, know, that or something like that. But mm-hmm. I, that, if that's it, yeah, yeah. that's kind of, that's kind of light to accuse someone of being an accomplice well, in my opinion. And then there's the, I'm sure you've watched the video of Chris walking out of the house that early morning. Oh, right. 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 Oh yeah. Over and over. Truck. Right. Um, some people say that at the beginning, the per- first person who walked out of the garage was NK, Nicole Kessinger. I no, no. <laughs> um, I never for one second thought it was anybody but Chris Watts. No, I mean, you can clearly see that they, they yeah. freeze frame it and they say, look at the still photo from the video. It looks much more like a woman, but the frame before that and the frame after that shows Chris's, you know, bald head and whatever. Right. It definitely was definitely that man. Um, right. So I don't know, but you can look at the video in different ways. And I, again, I have great respect for everyone who's trying to resolve what sure. looks like a mystery still, but I, I think the right guy's in prison. And, you know, that's in today. Again, it's the unfortunate second anniversary of um, him killing his whole family. So um, it's just so, it's so bizarre. Awful. Oh, awful. Such an awful case. It is. Awful, it awful. is. Um, but yeah, I, I'm glad you uh, agreed with me that the bullying that happens among people with different mindsets actually has been happening as long as we've been talking about true crime, at least. Oh, on the internet. absolutely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, the internet w- uh, presented itself with a new way for people to have all kinds of power that never had power before. Right. You right. getting behind that keyboard and attacking somebody, hmm. it can make a lot of people who are very empty inside feel very important. In fact, the the worse they they can treat this person, the more harm they can cause them, the better they feel. And everybody can get access to the internet, hmm. except for maybe prisoners, and even then sometimes. They but do. Again, right. that gives that gives bullies who perhaps had no other outlet gives them a huge outlet now Mm -hmm. and i think we're going to see some laws here coming up uh where i i mean i've had um oh god i the the stuff that's been put out there about me that is just absolutely not true Uh, not even close it's it's appalling and there's nothing i can do unless i want to spend ten thousand dollars to try and get more Mm -hmm. yeah or more but just to start to get each comment taken down Mm -hmm. i can't do that you know, yeah. and so I think we're going to see some laws change here. I, they need to be changed. That's for sure, because you should not be allowed to be able to go out there and put up something about somebody with absolutely no proof whatsoever. No, you should not, um, especially and you can get them for slander, or for libel. But again, my attorney said it's like thirty thousand dollars to go after oh. two people. Um, uh, yeah, I yeah. Um, I I looked into it. And uh, they, the lawyer said, oh, we would be glad. They were good lawyers. They, sure. could, they could make it happen. But I had to have 20 grand up front. Right. And that was right. to start. That was nothing right. else after that. And I went, oh, OK, I guess they're just going to have to say that, you know, I wrote this horrible email to these people that said these horrible things because I, I can't afford to get it taken down, even though that whole scenario is false. You know, so. Correct. Right. That's horrible. And. They've yeah. done the same thing to me, even with my last book, which had to do with Grey Gardens. Are you familiar with Grey Gardens at all? Oh, I, yes. In fact, I was just watching the um, uh, that uh, documentary, uh, mockumentary series about Grey Gardens. Oh, yeah. I've seen them both uh, yeah. with Fred Armiston and oh, Bill Hader. Hilarious. I love it that. is great. It is great. But Sandy you know, they did Patrick such a passage, right? Right. They they did such a great job that it they looks did. like the real people. But yeah, I that is such a fascinating. Isn't it fascinating though? look at 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 these these two sisters and what they've done but people bullied you for that book are you serious they did. well um do you know uh, you watched the documentary the original one you know the woman yes. the young woman who came to the birthday party at the end of the the end of the the movie um her name is Lois I, Wright and she has so. known them since oh gosh like the 50 late 40s early 50s mm-hmm. and um, it's possible that Lois is actually the third Bouvier sister. She was told um, that Black Jack Bouvier was actually her dad, her real dad. Um, wow. And so this book is all about Lois's life. She's 92 now, a mm-hmm. beautiful, wonderful woman. Um, so it's all about her life and about her possible connection to being Jackie and Lee, you know, their, their third sis- half sister. Mm-hmm. Oh, that'd um, be interesting, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah, definitely. And, and if you look at pictures that I've got in the book of Lois, 
when she was about 12 or 13 and you look at a mm-hmm. portrait that was made of Jackie, Jackie, um, Bo- Jacqueline Bouvier at the time, um, at the same time, they're identical. I mean, th- these women look so much alike. Wow. Um, and, yeah. and it wouldn't be surprising if, yeah. if Black Jack was out messing around. Would that surprise anybody? Right. Yeah, no. exactly. And Lois would have been conceived or born, I forget which it is, about a year before Black Jack ma- married um, the mother of Jackie and uh, Lee. Um, mm-hmm. So it wouldn't really even be cheating, but and he was known to be a womanizer. But yeah, so there are camps... Um, the people who the fans of Grey Gardens are very, very passionate, um, even more so than I think true crime fans. And mm-hmm. here I come, you know, Lois is now I love her to death. She's like my grandma or something. Um, but now she's my mm-hmm. dear friend. I'm writing a book about it. They didn't want me to change the narrative of you know the Grey Gardens fans didn't want that. So I was public enemy number one. It was horrible. They made up all oh, kinds geez. of things about me. Mm-hmm. Terrible, terrible things that made up about me. Um, yeah, it really is. And wherever you've got a really passionate fandom, even if it is true crime or something as simple as Grey Gardens, you know, a documentary from the 70s, they get very, um, it's oh, personal. God, yeah, yeah. It's personal. It personal. It's, it's theirs. It's their story. They don't want it, it changed. Oh, I hear you. Mm-hmm. I hear you. So that was that. Um, but would you, let's see here, would love to know. Trish's opinion on Michael Rourke, and is she familiar with the Tom Falls case that Rourke covered before he became DA? Hmm. Which case? Uh, you know what? I apologize. My brain is so overloaded with cases. Um, I, I'm going to say I don't remember, but that doesn't mean if I looked at something, I would go, "Oh, okay, yeah, I remember." I, right. I'm sorry. I, that does not ring a bell. I do apologize. And I don't know that case either. I don't know. But what do you think about D.A. Rourke and the Watts case? I think um, I think he, you know, there's a lot of bungling that went on, but I think they have the right guy in jail. What do you think? Well, yeah, they have, the, they have the right guy in jail. I think uh, um, I think they did the right thing uh, by, you know, saying, I, I'm assuming, you know, plead guilty. We'll take the death penalty off the table. I'm glad they did that. Um, and uh, so just so. Shanann's family wouldn't have to go through the hell of a uh. trial and appeals and and all of that. And uh, yeah, I I personally didn't see anything that I could point to that go, oh, what a horrible DA. Yeah. Again, I'm just going by kind of like the 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 one sheet fact sheet on on the Chris Watts case. Um, I I knew a lot about it as it was going on. I'd have to go back again and read it all. But yeah, I. I thought he was okay. I didn't see anything really troubling. That doesn't mean there isn't something really troubling, but no. as of nothing right like, now, nothing pops in my head. So nothing like the John Bonet case. Oh my yeah. goodness. Everyone was corrupt and everyone, um, was you know, was wrong. And I, mm-hmm. I, I don't know. Um, unless someone is named as a person of interest, it is not right to accuse someone of her. That's true. You're right. right. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and I think um, even with the John Bonet case, Burke was never never named as a person. Was well, he? Well, it was just the opposite. Uh, they threatened to sue anybody. Uh, in yeah. fact, in fact, here I have a. Oh God, I wish I hope I could find it. I have a copy of a fax between Lynn Wood and Alex Hunter where they're discussing about this this statement that Alex is going to release about Burke, and okay. it had and it had to do with the wording. And if I remember correctly, forgive me if I'm wrong, I'm just going off the top of my head. Uh, the um, Linwood wanted Alex to say, there is no evidence against Burke Ramsey, you know, blah, blah, blah. Sure. Alex Hunter wanted to put, there is no evidence against Burke Ramsey at this time or something along that. Something right, to, right. To, to that effect. And I can't remember which one they, they agreed to. But the fact that Alex Hunter wanted to add that little at this time, I thought was very interesting. To right. me, I was like, whoa, what is, I, you know, maybe he's just hedging his bets. But no, they, you mentioned Burke Ramsey, you got sued. That's changed now. Um, uh, now they did. Now Linwood did sue CBS for the big special they did because they didn't really? say Burke did it, but they just showed the evidence based on, um, on, on the book. And, uh, again, it's just my opinion. 
uh, based on the evidence that I have seen that's out there publicly. So I will look at that book because if that would actually change my mind, I'm very open to that to see. Um, yeah, I think it might. I think consider it might. anyone else. Yeah. 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 And I a little boy might. who's nine who killed his sister and, you know, he wouldn't have gotten jail time. He might have. No. No. He would have been, well, but he would have been uh, made to go to therapy, you know, mm-hmm. deep therapy. But mm-hmm. think about the Ramsey's status. Right. Their daughter's dead. Their nine-year-old child killed mm-hmm. his little sister. How bad does that make them look? Right. You know, I'm tell- when you think of Patsy and beauty pageants, it's all about looks. It's all about the mm-hmm. cover. And imagine their standing in in society in Colorado, if that was revealed, it would be so shocking. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, my dear, I do apologize. I have uh, a call coming in here in just a few minutes. Okay. Um, I, I am so sorry. I, I didn't know if this was, I, I forgot again. I'm so old. I forget. Oh, I just I'm realized because <laughs> I, I had, well, I had a, I had a reminder on my phone. So, um, but anyway, I, I, you know, we, let's do this again. Definitely. Let's, let's, let definitely. Is there, is there anything we didn't cover that we want to cover here in the next little bit before? No, um, I want to talk about Kaylee a bit too, but. Um, oh, okay. okay. Wait, let's talk about, no, let's talk about Kaylee really quick. Hold on. Are you, just do you have the, the time? time? I don't want to keep That's you it. from anything. Oh my gosh. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Um, so, so what do you think? Do you think the jury was correct? Oh my goodness. I hope not. <laughs> No, no, I don't think they were correct. Here's what I think happened. Um, When you look at the fact that Jeff Ashton only gave the jury first degree murder or nothing. Mm -hmm. I think there were people on the jury Mm -hmm. that just felt like they couldn't go with that because they really didn't have a cause of death. Now, if they would have, in Kaylee Anthony's case, given them other options, then she would have been convicted. No question. I do think... Uh, the jury, you know, by finding her not guilty, it makes it seem like she's innocent and she's mm. not. And um, I think they would have found her guilty if they would have, you know, brought it down a notch. You know, when do right. you, you Unless charge someone? Crime on yeah, the when do you charge? Right. I think it's first degree murder. I, I do. But, you know, when do you charge first degree murder when you don't have the uh, uh, manner of death? No, Was you it? don't accident you couldn't tell if it was an accident no. you couldn't tell if it was homicide you know and so i i think that was the biggest problem there but yeah it uh that was really shocking it oh, was definitely. really shocking so definitely and but, i think that uh, so, you know that's okay i have to my lipstick is like balling up oh, and i want to okay. blot it all off yeah. you, know, <laughs> you know um and i have that problem I, if my lips are super dry i get my lipstick i know me too up. yeah it's really weird me too you have um, you have the luxury of of doing that. I just have to do it in front of like all my people watching. Oh, I know so that, you do that. Yeah, you they're should, used. You they're should. used. To, I I put in my eye drops. I take my medicine. My dogs oh, got sprayed. Funny. My dogs got sprayed by a skunk live on the air once. I mean, oh my it's gosh. all out there. <laughs> it's all out there for everybody. <laughs> you should try Screenyard. Um, this app. Um, well, I uh, I do have Screenyard, but because my internet is your so internet. weak, right, right. Uh, it won't. It it YouTube when I try and use Screenyard, um, it won't accept it. It says they're not getting enough data. So I'm gonna have to move to where I have fiber optics, and then I can. So until then, it's just me in this cabin. Yeah, and yeah, that's yeah. It. That's funny. I I knew you lived kind of out there. I didn't know. Mm-hmm. For sure, you where you were, but um, no. With Kaylee again, I think that um, no, I think that when I when I heard that she drowned, I think I thought more towards it could have been an accident. George wasn't involved. Please, no. oh my gosh, no way! Ridiculous, ridiculous. Yeah, that was and and when Jose Baez got up there and said, you know that that George Anthony abused. Oh, uh, no Casey, way. I was, I, if I could have gone through the TV screen and throttled him, I would have. I was so I was upset. Yeah, that was too. wrong. That was so wrong. And it just goes to show you how, what a horrid human being Casey Anthony is to yeah. allow her attorney to do that. You yeah. Know? And if you so. look at George, when he, you know, in the beginning, he was searching for Kaylee. He thought there was an, the, genuinely searching for this child. Yes. yes. Um, and if you look at the jailhouse interviews between Kaylee and, or Casey rather, and her dad, her parents, she is a mm-hmm. spoiled brat. 
Oh, she's they a walk brat. on egg shells yeah. around this girl. Mm -hmm. um, there's no way this child, this woman was abused as a child. No way, no way, no way. Just the opposite. Um, she was spoiled rotten. Yeah, she know? was. And I think that Cin Cindy was her enabler. And yes. I think that George kind of tried to stop it, but he had no, I think Cindy was in charge of what they did with the children and not him. But right. it looked like her older brother turned out normal as far as I can tell. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and and maybe it was just a bit of a different relationship with sure. uh, Cindy and and uh, and what is his name? I, I just oh, my mind. Gosh, uh, is it Mark? I, I don't remember. Is it I, Le Le not Leonard? Like, it's is it um, Lee? Lee? I can't remember. I can't either. Oh, my gosh. Anyway, uh, maybe it was just a, yeah, it's awful for me. It's so, uh, maybe it was just a different dynamic, you know, and yeah. and Trace and and. Uh, Cindy Anthony probably treated Casey differently when she was born. Sure. And she did. Um, is it Anthony? I, I uh, want to say it's Lee. 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 Lee that's it. Lee. 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 That's okay. it. It's Lee. Lee Anthony. Right. Right. Yeah, that's it. Um, and, and maybe she just, you know, uh, smothered Casey. Kind of like a John that, Bonet thing. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. It could be. Same and scenario I mean, where the boy is forgotten and the mother dotes on the right. little girl. Yeah. And I, if, I any, if anybody has any thought that, that uh, Cindy and George didn't oh. just uh, lie about Casey all the time, Casey, Anthony, you see how tiny she is. She went to a wedding. She was seven months pregnant. I know. And her and mother said she's saying, got a tumor or something, right? Yeah, she's just, uh, yeah, no, she's not pregnant. It's just, you know, water weight or something ridiculous right, like right. that. It's like, come on. It looks like she swallowed a basketball. I know. Are you kidding me? I know. Yeah, that was and so I've bad. And I had the tumors and all that in your stomach, your lower abdomen does get a little bit, um, you know, extended, I guess, or mm -hmm. distended, but you don't look like that. No, no, no you don't, you don't look, look pregnant. pregnant. Right. Mm -hmm. no. So again, to me, that's a, a great example. And um, yeah. I, I don't know if you know this, but I actually had a conversation with um, Cindy Anthony. Did you ever hear about that on what, what no, happened I with Web Sleuths? Oh, my gosh. No. Well, I got an email from somebody, and this was before the trial. It was when uh, Casey was, I think she was in, I don't think she'd been arrested yet, actually. I got an email from somebody who said, hey, I've got Cindy Anthony's password to her Yahoo account. Here it is. Go in there and read the email. And I went, No. Uh, and I called the police and I found Good. Cindy Anthony's number and I called her Good. and I said, look, my name is Trisha Griffith. I'm from Web Sleuths. Uh, I just want you to know this. Here is the guy's email. I've reported it to the police. This person is offering your password. Change it. Close the account. Oh, my. Do something. I never went in there. I, I, I wouldn't be able to live with myself. No, how that. could you? No, I no. would never do that. Right. No. So anyway, you know, I was a little curious to see if she'd been reading at Web Sleuths. And um, she said that she'd never heard of Web Sleuths, but oh. that was a lie. But uh, she was uh, hiring a lawyer to shut down all the places on the Internet that called Casey Anthony names. And I oh said, my. Cindy, I said, if, if there is a lawyer telling you that he or she can do this, they're lying. They're right. taking your money. I said there's a very specific law that protects owners of a place where you make a comment. It's a it's a federal law, federal law. I think it's 230. I said it can't be done. There's a constitutional issue, number one. Secondly, there's a federal law that protects the owners of um, all of these blogs and websites where people come on and make comments that they can't be sued. I no. said, so please. Don't give that person any money. They're lying. Oh, no. She was convinced it was going to happen. Oh, well, boy. later, later, uh, it was revealed because Florida has a sunshine law and you, you get to see all the evidence eventually in any case. Yeah, I and, love that. Um, I do, too. Uh, it was revealed that in their garbage, they found reams of printed off web sluice posts. You know, so she was oh, reading. Really? Somebody was reading them and printing them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. Again, really hard to yeah, really hard to tell when uh, Cindy is telling the truth or not. Right. So right, and I think that she has lied all her life to cover up for her daughter's bad yes. behavior. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And George uh, kind of has to go along with it because Cindy is the boss. So that's how I yeah. see it. You know, and, and they're and, not bad people, not at no. all. But yeah, but they'll be held to pay. 
right. There'd be hell to pay for George if he tried to really change the situation. And I yes. think that's that all played into his suicide attempt. I know. You know, Kaylee was gone. You know, he couldn't his get his wife. Did it, right? Yeah, his daughter did it. You know, mm -hmm. he can't say anything to his wife. I, you know, no wonder the guy was depressed. I know. So poor guy. And you know, listen, whatever. My dear, I am so sorry, but um, you're I'm, oh no, you're fine. I'm getting texted. I've got, I've got to, I've got to take care of this. But it has been such a pleasure, oh, and I we need to do this, this. We again. Have to do it again. Whenever yes. you're ready, we'll do it again and get more in depth about some of these cases. And um, thank you so much for well, being here. And, I love. And do that. me a favor when you read this yeah. book, call me. Let's talk. I will. Okay. Let's, Let's talk, talk about it, and then come okay. back together, and we'll see um, if I've changed Wonderful. my mind or not. Awesome. I would love it. Thank okay. you so much. Thank and you. It was a pleasure and we'll do it again soon. Okay. Thanks so much. And thank you all my viewers. And I will be back in a couple days. Love y'all. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye.